Oof. All right, so today I'm going to be scoring a car commercial from scratch. This is my first time doing this. I'm terrified. <laughs> I am so nervous for this video. <laughs> All right. So to be completely transparent with you guys, this is actually not the first time that I score something. In fact, when I was living in LA, that was about six years ago, I used to actually have a job as an assistant composer for a music production company in LA. So during my time there, myself and the team, we scored a whole bunch of stuff. We were doing documentaries, short movies, long movies, TV shows, but we never actually did a commercial. A little fun fact, if you live in the UK or in the US, you can go on Netflix right now, search up Death in Paradise, seasons four and five, a lot of the music in there, yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all that to say that I do have a little bit of experience scoring stuff, but I've never done anything like this. I've never scored a commercial in my life, so this is gonna be intense. <laughs> so to help me navigate through the complexities of making music for a commercial, which is very hard, I decided to reach out to my friend Tommy Z. He does this for a living and he has worked with huge brands like Visa, Sony, Toyota, Honda, just so many different brands. He's great at this. So yeah, let's call him up. What's up? So yeah, before I get started on, on scoring the commercial, I just kind of wanted to ask you like a couple of questions. So the first one that, that I wanted to ask is what do you start with? Okay, so number one, you bring your movie into the DAW of your choice. And the first thing you do is start playing with the tempo. You don't want to have a track that's trying to catch up to the visual. You want to time it so that the film is literally dancing with the music, already establishing the structure first. And so it's a kind of a map that's gonna help you not to get lost. Well, I think I have all the information I need to get started on this. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm really excited to hear what you come up with. And um, yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much for your time, man. Talk to you later. Later, hey. ciao. All right, so I'm gonna start by going through the brief. The brief is basically this PDF file that the company that hires you gives you, that kind of gives you a direction, a goal of what they're expecting, the kind of music that they want, the kind of energy that they want, basically like everything that they're looking for. The goal with this commercial is to convey the emotion of changing and evolving without losing your own roots and your identity. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the commercial will be split in two sections. We start seeing the skyline and for 15 seconds we see the car in its usual urban context. And then we'll see the car driving in a naturalistic environment to convey this new sense of pureness because of the new electronic engine with no CO2 emissions. I see, so basically the whole idea of the commercial is the old versus the new. So you have the classic car, but with the new electronic engine, no CO2, so like a new modern vibe. Okay, so for the music, it seems like they want something very similar. They wanna start with something minimal, kind of orchestral, classical, and then gradually insert some electronic elements. And eventually, they even talk about potentially sampling the orchestral part of the beginning and turning it into a beat. So that's really cool. Down here at the bottom, they even have some sort of like storyboard that kind of represent the commercial, but we got something better than that. We have the actual edit of the commercial, so we're gonna work with the movie. All right, let's do this. Oh, very important before we get started, if you enjoyed the video so far, please don't forget to subscribe button, the notification bell. Also, while you're down there, hit the like button. It helps us grow the channel a lot faster so we can just do better, bigger, just more things. <laughs> I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna follow Tommy's advice and start with tempo. I'm gonna just play the commercial and try to find the tempo that kind of matches with all the different cuts. So I'm gonna do a build up here at the beginning. Ooh, boom. What is that? Boom, boom. Boom. Perfect. Perfect, 105, that's it. So I'm gonna start my intro right here. Before that, we have a little bit of a buildup. We're gonna do some sort of transition here and then boom. Right here where it says lifestyle, we're gonna drop our beat. All right, we got our structure, we got our tempo. <laughs> I'm terrified of this, but we gotta get started. I think I'm gonna start with the intro, which is the classical part. This is fire. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna keep adding a bunch of layers kind of at random. I wanna stick with that nature, like snowy vibe, but we got this. I'm getting a burst of confidence right now, so <laughs> let's put it to use. Crazy, this is actually working out. 
<laughs> I completely forgot, but I'm actually super excited that in a bit we have to take all this and sample it into a beat. This is too fun! Okay, so right there we have that deer. I hope it's a deer, I'm gonna look really stupid, but... <laughs> Well, regardless of what it is, he's kind of like a main character of this first half of the commercial, so I kind of want to give him his own instrument, like his own voice. What's an instrument that like represents him perfectly? Maybe like a clarinet. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the one. Ooh. All right, I'm throwing that in there. it for now for the orchestral part i'm gonna flip it now and we're gonna make a beat with it all right so the first thing we have to do is figure out the tempo for our beat i want it to be a little bit faster than the orchestral part just to bring up the energy for kind of like the climax of the commercial so what's that like 160 170 then honestly i'm just gonna start reversing a bunch of stuff That's kind of fire. Okay, that's perfect. Here I'm gonna do like a transition build up and then I can bring back the beat right here. That's fire. All right, we got our intro, we got our beat. I really need to work on the transitions, like smooth everything out. But before that, before that, I'm actually gonna copy this classical part and put it at the beginning of the commercial. So we can kind of bring back like the main theme. It's like a recurring theme. And I think I'm gonna have it start here where it's like nighttime. So right here we have build up. Boom. Back into the main theme, but faster. And we're out. Ooh, this is coming together. Okay, really all we're missing is the transitions and the buildups and then we're pretty much done. All right, so I just went off camera for like 15, 20 minutes. I worked on all these transitions. There are so many tracks. This project is huge. <laughs> so if you look at all this yellow stuff, these are all transitions like risers, like hits, impacts, effects. Just so many sounds. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with where it's at. So I think I'm gonna export it right now the way it is. I'm gonna send it to Tommy so I can get some feedback, fix it up, and then I'll play you guys the final thing. Yeah, let's see what he has to say. Here is my take on this. The things that I like is the quality of the sounds. They are sophisticated. I like the ambient sounds. I like the dreamy sounds. I associate them with imagination. Where we would need to do some work is that you have a moment when the beat disappears, you have a buildup, and that's when I'm expecting the action to go up another notch. As far as this demo is concerned, we're in a great place. We just need to touch it up a little bit and everything is gonna be beautiful. Looking forward to hearing the the final version. All right, thank you so much, Tommy, for the feedback. You're the expert, so I'm gonna apply everything you said, and I'm gonna try to make this like perfect. Real quick, before I play you guys, the final thing is a thank you to Tommy and his team. I just wanted to quickly shout out his music course. So for anybody that's interested in making a living with commercial music, or even just making some money on the side, he has an incredible course that just runs you beginning to end, A through Z, with the entire process. It starts with the music on like how to score for a commercial, then it goes into like how to build context, how to get in touch with companies, how to promote yourself in that world, and just kind of how to build your own income with 
commercial music. I highly recommend it. I'm going through it as well. I'm going to leave it at the top of the description and full disclaimer for you guys, that is an affiliate link. So it means that if you guys sign up through that link, I get a little bit of a kickback, but kickback or not, you don't even have to use the link. It's an incredible course. Just check it out. <laughs> All right, I guess this is it for this one. I'm going to play you guys the final version of the commercial right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, remember to be positive and positive things will happen.